Hello, my Taurus family. Welcome to Mystic Marie Tarot and Guidance. This will be for Taurus. Any placement, I'm a Taurus son. Let's see what's coming out for you. Make sure you switch the energies. Thanks for the likes, compliments, comments, subscribes. Most of all, thanks for watching, especially to those that are new. For Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? Spirit, what's going on here? For the Zodiac sign of Taurus, we got the Ace of Cups. Love? Yes, it's about goddamn time for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the ten of swords. Something is over. You could be in a situation where you're needing closure from a love life. Okay, someone you're in love with or in love with you could be ending something. They feel defeated. Okay, who done done it with this person behind this person watching the end watching this person feel defeated what else maybe you def oh maybe you feel defeated in love your love life the only aspect of your life uh that may suck here what else for Taurus? i meet a lot of successful clients and love is usually the situation where they feel there's a lack we got the six of pentacles equal give and take reciprocity or someone was giving to you and another or they're trying to figure out they're feeling defeated how to come towards you and give to you equally they could be having to give to you and someone else, even though they want to come towards you. Maybe they have to support a child. What else? Or dealing with somebody that have to support a child with. We got uncertainties with the moon, Pisces, Pisces energy. Someone's not sure how to how to go about a situation. This is why they feel defeated with the Ten of Swords. There's a new patch to begin. And for some of you, you're getting new love. Okay. Maybe something's closing out. There's a new passion beginning wanting to come in here, but someone could definitely be unsure about how to come in a situation. Someone could be drowning in their emotions with that man standing there in that water, unsure how to go about a situation. They could be suppressing their emotions. This could be subconscious as well. They could have a lot of inner things that they need to work through. This could be dream state. So someone could be telepathically communicating with you as well. Their emotions, how they feel about you with this Ace of Cups, lots of water. What else for tourists? Ancestors, turn up. What's going on here? I need clarity. It's hard to give my own readings. What's going on here? Five of Swords, intimidation, bully, hollow victory, winning at all costs. Someone could be intimidated by you. That's why they're in, unsure with the moon, how to come towards you, how to speak some truth to you. They could have someone else in their energy, petty, jealousy, and envy, stopping them from coming towards you, making the situation hard. Okay. What else? Page of Swords, gathering information, watching you. Someone's trying to find a new energetic way to communicate. Someone could have seen this person dealing with you, so now they got to pull their energy back. King of Swords, okay. All the fire signs got this King of Swords. We got uh, a situation where someone could be splitting up with someone. They could be in the middle of a breakup or a split here. There's a child custody battle. Could be DNA tests. Someone's analyzing the situation. The King of Swords could represent a stepfather as well. They're trying to figure out, analyze if they could come towards you, support you, or this is you. Multiple scenarios flip the energy. We got the Eight of Cups. Someone's walking away from a situation, possibly a marriage or a long-term relationship. Now they have to split things up or they have to provide for someone. Six of Pentacles could be child support with the King of king of swords and a six of pentacles eight of cups they have to walk away from this situation in order to come towards you but they could be feeling defeated they don't know how to express something to you could be a lot of uncertainty interesting the will of fortune that's my cue and the emperor it could be your emperor the death card they gotta let something go close something out king of cups they got a lot to say and a lot that they're feeling interesting taurus scorpio leo and aquarius with the will of fortune let's get some tea What's going on here? Cut the deck on Divine Feminine. And I just saw the Empress, so Divine Counterparts. All right. I don't even know how to make sense of this. Bottom of the deck, meeting two or more people discussing or planning. Y'all need to talk, heart to heart conversation. This person needs to tell you how they feel or you towards them. Or this person is going to with meeting with Taurus. Y'all could be meeting in an Astro 5D with this moon. Angel, spirit guys, ancestors, messages for Taurus. 
karmic third party relationship and lesson and then i said this person was telepathically communicating with you alien telepathic dreams and songs i knew it i felt it. this moon and this ace of cups this person is communicating with you in the dream state karmic third party relationship is less and less and they're dealing with someone else who they need to close that situation out or they're going to eight of cups this person is communicating with you, giving you downloads. Also, so is spirit, telling you what's going on with this situation. There is something that has to shift here, or it's going to. Well, it's going to anyway. Could be delayed. They have to walk away. The will of fortune is unstoppable. There's a turning point. There's a faded situation. I feel like because this person's tied up with someone else or something else, you're getting your downloads and information in spirit. Rather from them or your spirit team. What else? There's definitely a third party. The Taurus. Ascension, spiritual path, and awakening. This is a very deep spiritual connection. You and this person are meant to evolve, learn from each other, and learn from other people. Third party, relationship, and lesson. You see this chessboard. I know people say life ain't a game, but this is. This is a situation where you need to learn something from it. Close it out. Be done with it. Once you realize that something is not serving, you or your person, there's a wheel of fortune. Okay, that's it. But someone is holding on to a situation or they're sitting here in the middle of just, okay, I don't know. Feeling defeated, ten of swords. They could have betrayed you, played you, whatever. With the five of swords, ten of swords, something low vibrational happened. I will clarify. What else? Plugged in, tuned in, internet connected. This person could be watching you, page of swords, plugged, tuned in, internet connected, watching you over the internet for those that are on a platform. <laughs> or this is a situation where this other person's person, third party, is watching you as well or watching them. So they can't make a move, moon. They don't know what to do. Intimidated. Okay, five of swords. What else? Someone's analyzing the situation with this page of swords, king of swords, on whether or not they should walk away or how to walk away. Today, present now, in the moment, this person has tunnel vision or focus on one situation and one situation only. Pink flower is the only thing highlighted. So they're prioritizing. Pop up, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visits. Someone popped up on them, this person is going to pop up on you all of a sudden, unexpectedly. Something spontaneous will be expressed or done. Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from a situation. Whether it's you walking away from this person because they're feeling too defeated. It's too uncertain. You don't know where y'all stand or where is it going. You don't know what to expect from this person. So you say, okay, fine, forget it. I don't know. I don't trust you. Fuck it. Or this is a situation where they want to come towards you, but first they have to get the balls, gain the momentum, male or female, to leave something behind. New love coming in when you let something else go. This is a third party. Rather it be a job or another person. But eight of cups will of fortune. Let it go. What else? Magnetic pull, can't explain, unexplainable pull, can't resist. I bounced it around in reverse, so maybe this person's trying not to have this pull towards you. They're trying to avoid it. Single current status available, Retali retaliation, punish, payback, revenge, and obsession. Someone could be obsessed with your person out of spite. They're holding them back from coming towards you. Okay, or they're getting in the way. Five of swords. Or this person's obsessed with you, and uh, they want to come towards you. Could be a lot of lust. Telepathic dreams and songs could be a twin with someone else in the way. Period. The whole reading is somebody else in the way, whether it's just your person in the way of themselves, getting in their own way, or somebody else. Third party. Period. It's here. What else with Taurus? Cut the deck on paranoid and renew. This person wants to start over, clean slate, brand new beginning, but they're scared, they're nervous. But some of you, they're non committal. For some of you, they're afraid. They don't want to get hurt. This person battered and bruised, and they think you're going to do the same, which ain't fair. Ten of Swords, they feel defeated by what has already transpired. You didn't do that. What else for Taurus? even know how to react okay so this person don't even know how to go about a situation someone else could be mad in regards to this connection what's Taurus? angels spirit guides ancestors what does Taurus need to know what's going on here what's the tea building wants to build or start a family with you for someone this is the person who wants to come towards you they're in love with you they want to step up if you have children king of swords they want to provide for you and your children but first they have to walk away from a situation if you're a masculine watching this is you you could have met someone who you see to be your ideal match but you're in a situation aren't you a little caught up what else for taurus you could have a family with someone else and you want to build one with someone else so there's a blended family for some of you what else 
Well, then with this, can I get a few more cards, Spirit, so I can clarify what this Five of Swords is and what this Ten of Swords is? And the Moon. The Taurus. Any placement. Slow down. Okay. Reboot. Wants to pick, wants to leave the past behind and start fresh. Pick it back up. Yes, I feel that. Ace of Cups, they're in love. They love you. Awesome. Eight of Cups, but what else? There's a magnetic pull in a telepathic situation. This is a twin for a lot of you. With Karmic coming out here, polar opposite. What else? <laughs> Paranoid jumped out, and again, I flipped it around, so I'm going to keep it upright, and I'm going to address it both ways. This person's scared, but they're trying their hardest not to be. Okay, well, boss up then. What else for Taurus? Scent, the smell of someone else on them. They cheated, they're cheating. You could have been around this person. Your perfume, your genitals ended up on this person. Your mouth ended up on their genitals, and they got caught. Okay, what else? Gamble about to take a risk to come see you. Why is it a risk to see you? Because they dealing with somebody else or somebody else is in the mix and they mad. Okay, a few more. For Taurus. This is definitely a third party with scent and karmic. Third party relationship and lesson. Learn from it and be done with it. Will of Fortune. What else for Taurus Fair? I promise you I'm about to get out this dick. What's going on here? Fake single, acting like they're okay with being single and they're not. Okay, for some of you, this person, non-committal, but they want to commit. Let's keep it that simple. For some of you, they're not single. They told you they were fake single. They're lying. They're with somebody. Could be a little toxic. Could be trying to get away from an eight of cups. Okay, what else? Or you are. For some of you, they say, I'm not looking for money. I'm not looking for love. I just want to focus on my money. They lying. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> we got nervous with paranoid. Okay, then. This person has a... This person has a lot to say to you. Nervous and paranoid, but they don't know how. For some of you, they scared of this ex. They want to move forward, come towards you, close that out, Will of Fortune, Eight of Cups, leave it behind. But this person might be a little cray cray. Can't nobody have them? If they can't, yeah. They scared of their ex or person that they share a child with. Popping up on you, popping off on you. Pop up, don't pop up over here. Okay, do not do it. Don't do it. Let's continue. This is a, this is a recorded video. We ain't on live. Okay, let me, let me, what else? Okay, last card. Misinformation, wrong info given to them. They were listening to other people and they could have closed something out because of what these people said, five of swords. They hating, bottom of the deck, moving in, leaving permanent items at your home. For some of you, this person staying with someone, someone slowly moving items into your home or they want to, they want to move in with you, multiple scenarios. Or they're trying to put somebody out. This person just snuck up and moved in their house and won't get their shit. Okay, we got resurfacing, reappearing after a period of hiding. This person could have ghosted you. They could have pulled their energy back just a little bit or a lot so they can work this out. They don't want you to know what's going on. Paranoid and nervous. Misinformation. They don't want you to find out, so they're giving you misinformation. Okay. Seven of swords stuck on, stuck on the table. Being sneaky. Foxy. Swiper no swiping. What is this ten of swords? The temperance. Yes, they feel defeated. They want to balance the situation out with you, Sagittarius. But they need to find balance, bring things into alignment. They got one foot in, one foot out. One foot on land, one foot on water. One foot in, one foot out, okay? This is divine intervention. Doesn't need to have patience. They need to heal, ten of swords. Okay, fall back then, let them heal. What's the moon? Can't, can't heal in the same place, place where you got hurt. You cannot heal in the same place where you were hurt. Eight of Cups, what's the moon? Three of Pentacles, they're uncertain about collaborating with you. They're uncertain about this third party, whatever. They want to network, bring it together. Teamwork makes the dream work. They're unsure. They're in their head about it. 
What's the five of swords? That's what they want, though. That's what they're guided to do. They need to follow their intuition. What's the five of swords? Uncertainties about a collaboration. What's the five of swords? The fool card. Somebody challenged, got in the way of this person coming towards you for a clean slate, brand new beginning. Very impulsive here. Person bold and eager to come towards you because you're the emotional fulfillment with the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. This person really has a lot of passion for you, Knight of Cups Tower. Something happened. This person's telepathically communicating with you as well with the Knight of Cups and uh, the, the telepathic dreams and songs. They're telling you what's going on in their situation. When you first wake up, write that shit. Oh, you're going to forget. Okay, so with this Five of Swords and this... What's Aries energy with the Fool? One more for the Five of Swords and the Fool. Death card. Yeah, somebody got in the way. And here's the hair fine on this card. So Scorpio and Taurus are polar opposite. Somebody got in the way of this person transitioning. The, the, somebody is walking towards their spirituality, their spiritual lessons and journey, third party lesson, relationship. So the death meets the hierophant. Death of an death of a self, death of old self, death of an ego, letting go of the past, transitions, moving forward. Killing old self to become a new. But first, you have to walk into your spirituality to heal the past trauma. Death card is very deep. I'm not going to go there. Scorpio energy. Now, this person is guided to let something go. Eight of Cups. Close it out. What's the Eight of Cups? To come towards you to heal something, to revive something, and to, ki to kill them old selves. Temperance with the death. Re rebirth. Become new. Okay, what's the... Yeah. <laughs> the caterpillar goes into the cocoon and comes out the butterfly. Okay, what's the Eight of Cups? What are they guided to walk away from? The four wands. Some kind of commitment, some kind of marriage, some kind of stable foundation. Eight of Cups home with the four wands. This could be a twin as well. They're guided to walk away, Eight of Cups, from a family dynamic or a home situation or some kind of put together home. Okay? The four of wands is a celebration, homecoming, birth of a child, birth of a wedding. I mean, a celebration, a wedding. Or this is a twin or some kind of commitment. They're guided to walk away from a commitment that they're in. Or to walk away from things that are no longer serving and get in a commitment that actually brings in fulfillment. Reboot. Period. One more for the Eight of Cups. Strictly because this is a Taurus reading and I'm nervous. I mean, I'm, I'm nosy. Somebody nervous, I'd have said it. What's the Eight of Cups? <laughs> Strength card. Leo energy. <laughs> <laughs> the world Taurus Scorpio and Leo energy somebody is definitely needing to find the confidence courage bravery willpower to walk away from a family dynamic or some kind of commitment that they are in let it go and they're also holding back and they know that they need to I'm done I rest my case peace bye